What's going on guys? In this video, I wanted to give kind of my thoughts on the beta um, and I want to give kind of my thoughts on Madden 22, uh, specifically focused to gameplay. That's pretty much what I care most about. And so we're going to run through just kind of a couple of things uh, as far as what I, what I think you need to know heading into Madden 22. Now this is based on next gen gameplay. We haven't been able to play the game on current gen. Unfortunately, we've just been playing next gen. And I gotta be honest with you, I would, I, I'm really curious to see what current gen looks like because um, next gen on Madden 21 was a huge difference with the momentum and some of the stuff. Some of the things that were really bad about next gen Madden 21 um, are still bad about next gen Madden 22. So I wonder if some of the things that are good about current gen Madden 21 would be good about current gen Madden 22. So it'll be interesting to kind of see um, where the competitive scene lies, if they're going to make the shift to, to uh, next gen, or if we're going to get another year on current gen. I'll be very interested to see kind of what happens with that. Um, but really quickly, if you're new to the channel, my channel is just focused on helping people get better at Madden. I break down offenses and defenses. I break down what the pro players do. And I try to help people as best I can learn about the game. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that. I also want to really quickly um, talk about my newest product for the Madden 22 season. Um, and, and basically what it is, is I think it's going to be a really, really good opportunity for you guys to be able to be most up to date with what the meta is and how to counter it. And so what we're doing is every single week, I am posting offensive meta, defensive meta, and then pro player analysis where we're actually going to break down what J Wall is doing or what Wesley's doing or what uh, John Beast is doing or what Skimbo's doing or what some of the best of the best in the community are doing in depth. We're not just going to give you one of their money plays. We're going to actually look at a game film and really break it down for you so you can get the, a, a really good look at what their scheme really is. So if you want to join our true fan membership, this is for the people that are most committed to being better at Madden, then you can do that in the description. It's only $5 a month, and it gets you, I think, the best schemes that you're going to need, everything you're going to need. I mean, you're going to get the best schemes every week. You're going to get the best analysis every week. So, and, I, and, and those videos are going to be like really dense, really deep, really insightful. So I'm excited about that. And if you haven't joined that yet, be sure to do that because we are limiting how many people can join. There's a cap to it. Um, so if you don't get your spot, you could lose your spot. Okay, so let's talk about this beta. And the first thing that I want to talk about is I want to talk about um, like running. Okay, so let's talk about running for just a moment. Um, let me just grab like the quick base out of the Ravens book and I'll just do random play. So what we're used to being able to do is this right there. You see, I can do that cut and then I can basically turn this quick base into a run that can go in one of three directions. So like I can go here. I can also go all the way back across. I could go straight down into the, into the play. That's, that's not really something that I've seen work well in, in Madden 22 beta. Okay. It's just not. What you're going to see more is, you know, kind of the, the thing that people continually say is, I feel like I'm stuck in quicksand. I feel like I can't quite cut. I can't quite move like I want to move. And you're going to feel that next year. Um, it's it, it happened when we switched from PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4 back in Madden 25, and it happened here. So the quick base run, it's not dead, but it's going to have to be ran different. You're going to have to really almost... Honestly, one of the things that I'm doing, and you're going to think this is crazy, um, I actually let the computer get me through the hole. So, like, I let the computer go, and then when I want to cut, I'll basically really, like, because you can do, like, a, a one cut, basically. I turn myself into a one cut, so I just cut right there, just like that. Um, that's kind of something that I think is going to be very popular. Uh, I want to talk about uh, passing for just a moment as well. So gun bunch versus trips tight end versus spread versus you. What's going to be the best uh, offense? The bunch is looking good. Uh, I will say that the bunch is definitely looking good. There's some new formations uh, in the game that are really really good that are going to tailor itself to being a bunch year or a bunch tight end year. Um, the the thing that's the problem right now in next gen Madden, and I, I know that the EA is aware of this and are working to fix it. The zone logic is terrible. Like. You could basically come out in this play and and you could get a one play touchdown every time. Like 
what we saw in current Gen Madden 21, where you can just basically snap it and you're going to instantly just bomb cover three. Uh, what we saw, and of course, as I say that, I throw the pick. Um, but what we, we saw that a lot in Madden 20, in Madden 21, right? Especially in the Madden Classic, where, you know, the, the zone coverage is not the best. So it's easier to bomb coverages. That's what next gen men's like right now. Um, now I will say this, um, as far as like something to be aware of, this has been true of Madden for years is offense typically starts out better and defense gets better as the zone coverage gets better. There's always these thresholds that you have to look for. I would say you really want to, there's a couple key things you want to look for. Um, you want to make sure that your user player has 90 change of direction minimum. You really want to have 90 change of direction. Now, real quick, I want to show one little user tip. Um, so what you can do, let's say that I wanted to bait. So let's say I wanted to take away the, the post and the drag. In current Gen Madden, it wouldn't be that hard. You would just go here, and then you would just go here, basically, and you take it away. In next Gen Madden, uh, or in Madden 22, you're not going to be able to do that, okay? So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to what's called uh, strafe strafe uh, swapping, all right? That's what I've called it anyway. I've done this for years in, in Madden, but basically what you want to do is whenever you want to change, you want to, so like if I'm coming up here, I want when I want to come down here, I want to strafe, so hold left trigger or like click it, to where it re-centers my shoulders and then I want to dive on the route that I want to go to. So let me show you kind of what that looks like. So if I come up here, left trigger, and then I just come back down. Okay, so when I want to change, I use left trigger. That's the key, like that's the key thing to do. Another quick tip about Madden 22 usering on defense, you want to make sure if you can choose, like if, if you're in mutt and you can choose, one of the abilities that I think is absolutely essential in next gen Madden is going to be uh, Lurker. You really wanna, I think you really wanna put Lurker on your user. Um, the reason why is because it's going to, in a, in a game where it's really hard to user, it's going to help you a little bit. Um, it's You're gonna be able to jump stuff that's like kinda crazy and it's gonna help you a lot because most people are gonna build their offenses where they're only worried about their user taking one route. We still wanna be able to take away two routes that's where you can really capitalize with Lurker. Um, another thing that you want to look out for uh, in Next Gen Madden, um, at least at the start of the year, is you're going to see a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. In my opinion, man-to-man um, -man is one of the better ways to play defense right off the bat um, in, in Madden 22. I think that wheel routes are actually going to be back, which I personally am excited about, wheel routes beating man-to-man -man coverage. But you want to make sure that you have your man beaters kind of down um, things like motion slants things like uh, curls are still going to be really good next year um, but things like these um, like little trail routes uh, little you know motion drags those are things that you want to look for in your offense uh, as far as like you know for, if I was running gun spread one of the biggest things for like if, if you're like me and you want to run some gun spread um, you're gonna have to be prepared for press man-to-man -man. You just are, they're going to do it, I guarantee it. Um, so things like you know motion slants here, so if I put him on a slant, motion him across, that's gonna be you know fairly good at beating man to man. It's, 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 that's, those are the kind of things you're gonna see. I think the best defense, at least at the start of the year, is going to be to put your curl flats on, or like your flats on 30 or 25, and then play basically shaded down, shaded up man. So on defense, it would look like this basically. So if I went to cover two man, put both of these guys in purple zones, um, and then I shaded down, shaded up, and then I would probably shade inside, like something like this. And then, you know, basically my job is any skinny post. That's really what I'm gonna take away. This coverage is, it was good in Madden 21, it's going to be almost a necessity in Madden 22 because of how bad the zone coverage is. Zone coverages just don't stop anything, um, at least from what I've seen. Now, I know they're going to work to fix it, but until they do, 
this is going to be probably the best way to play defense. The other thing that I want to talk about is the two-man sheds. Um, so it's not hard. It's actually pressure is pretty good in next gen. Um, let me show you. I'll give you a. I'll give you a free blitz. This is from my big nickel over G defensive guide. I plan on running big nickel over G at the start of the year. So if you and I just put out a guide with kind of like everything that I'm gonna do. So if you have not gotten my big nickel over G offense or defensive guide, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description. It gives you the whole defense. But um, basically, what what you can do is let's say you don't even have to have a play, right? All you're gonna do is you're going to show blitz, and then you're going to pinch your D line, and then what you're gonna do contains this year are really good. So you're gonna bring this guy on the edge here, and then just contain just like that and he'll scream right off the edge. It's not gonna work in, in current gen as well, um, but you still get some V-gap pressure. Th this is gonna be the move. Like, you're gonna get pretty good pressure from something like that. So when people say, you might hear people talk about, um, there was years in Madden where, and I can't remember what year it was off the top of my head. I think it was Madden, I wanna say it was Madden 17, but I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. I mean, this worked last year too, like Madden uh, 20. But Nickel Blitz 2, where basically all you're going to do is you're just going to slide this guy off the edge. You're going to use her, like this linebacker, down in the gap. And then, you know, basically do something like this. Essentially, this is the D. And then you, you're, it's a five-man pressure. This D right here is it, it's the same concept from Big Nickel. So what I like about Big Nickel, though, is you can send it off both edges pretty easy. Um, but what, and that's the, that's the biggest thing. And also the coverages you get from Big Nickel. Uh, nickel 245 is going to be an interesting defense to watch, though, because um, you you really do need uh, something to contain the quarterback this year. Uh, quarterback rollouts are going to be really, like, really, really good. Um, the zones play bad. When you roll out, the zones play worse. And this year, you can roll out really easily. So that's gonna be a thing. So you're gonna to have to have a plan, you know, going into that. So it might look something like this. Um, it might look something like this. So like if I'm running big nickel and Brady's right-handed, um, you know, if that's, let's just say that's, I don't even know. Let's just say that's RG3. If I do something like that, now I can take away the QB rollout. But this whole deal of like double teaming and IDN, like this is totally back. Like this is, this is totally back. Um, so rollout corners are on the way again. If you haven't already been facing them a little bit towards the end of the season here, you're going to face it in next gen Madden. So you got to have a plan for how you're going to defend that. Um, the other thing I want to talk about real quick is the two-man shed D. Um, this is also really good. So what you can do, like if I was uh, if I was running this defense, is I could just crash my D line up, and I could have these two guys basically go nuts. So I could drop these guys into zones. And then basically I can just kind of sit right in here and uh, you'll see this is a really, really good defense. This this defense right here, um, the problem is the zones, right? The pro the biggest problem is the zones. The outside, the, they just don't play really well. Cover four, I think, plays the best, uh, at least off the beta. If you're going to run like a standard zone, I would sit and cover four um, like a, as, a, as a shell. But anyway, that's, that's, that's kind of what, you know, the two-man shed Ds are good. Like they're good. Um, that's why I, you know, I just think it's going to be an interesting year. Uh, if they, they've got to fix the zones, zones have been bad at the launch every single year, almost every single year with the exception, I think of Madden 19 and Madden 19, they were just super, super good. They played everything. You like, it was so hard to move the ball. Uh, and it was the, I think it was the year Sherman was on the cover, but it's basically you get someone with 90 zone. Um, so, you know, look for the thresholds. The other thing I want to talk about uh, really quickly is uh, run defense is not going to be that hard next year, at least from what I'm seeing, because of the mechanics. Because of the, it's just going to be really hard to run the ball because you can't you can't just like you can't run a halfback dive and turn it into a, a sweep. You know that that's the biggest reason. Um, I think stretches. Honestly, I think stretches are going to be okay, uh, just because stretches really. You know, you're making one cut. One cut style runs are going to be the move. So, like, stretches, inside zones, uh, 26 duo is another one. Um, those are going to be those are going to be the move. But you can definitely scream at people. The one thing I will also say really quickly before we close up is linebackers do not jump. So, nickel 335 wide and 335, 
still going to be a really good defense. I called this like back in last June, uh, almost a year ago today, when we started running these kind of concepts. This, these two defenses right here and Big Nickel are going to be really good next year. Um, I don't know how good. We'll have to see what the pressure looks like. But like this blitz that you're starting to see right now, let me just show it to you. Um, this is a blitz that you're starting to see in competitive Madden uh, where you go to Mike Blitz O. And what you're going to do to start the rollout is basically you're going to shift your D-line to the, to the um, left, like opposite of the running back. And then you're just going to move this guy out and hit QB contain. This right here is going to scream. Um, it's going to scream. You're going to see here just coming right off the edge. And it contains really, really well. Okay. So it's a five-man pressure that you can, you know, and, and that's kind of the idea. So another way you could do the same concept uh, is by basically, you know, shifting, moving this guy out, and then putting him in his zone. Now you've got these guys on contains. The, the contains are going to be a really glitchy uh, defense next year. I can just tell you right now, this kind of look right here um, is going to be pretty daggone good, right? This simple defense right here is going to be tough to beat. Um, so... Those are some things that um, those are some things offensively and defensively that you want to look for as far as you know my predictions, uh, what the meta is going to be. I think you're going to see a lot of rollout corners. I really do. Rollout corners, rollout crossers. Um, they're going to be good. They're going to be really good next year. That's why I think trips tight end might just be the best offense next year. But there's a new formation called I think it's called like bunch wide flex, but it's basically bunch tight end but the tight end is like offset essentially so that's another thing that you could look forward to but from what i'm seeing the biggest thing biggest takeaways for man 22 what you need to start preparing for um you need to start preparing a defense that can contain the quarterback because quarterback scrambling is going to be really really good you can scramble both outside and inside so you need to have a plan for that um, your zone coverage is cover three. You're not going to be able to just sit and cover three every play. You're going to have to, um, I think, play a lot of man coverage. The one thing that I'm interested to see is I think cover four quarters, What we've they, they've continued to make match defense play a little bit better every single year. I think that the, the match defensive schemes that I've been running over the last, like, six months – they're going to be pretty good next year. So um, you're, you're basically going to run match and man at least to start um, from what I'm seeing and then maybe mix in like some cover four. But the Mike Blitz three, you know, sitting in cover three and just dropping your zones back, I don't know if that's going to be a good deal next year. I just don't. Um, just be, unless they fix them, unless they fix the deep zones. But as it sits right now, you can bomb pretty much any zone coverage without even really trying to. Like, they just don't react. This was the problem with Next Gen Madden 21. Same problem coming in Madden 22. So that's where I'm just saying my plan right now is to play a lot of match defense, to play a lot of man defense. And then if I do shift to a zone defense, it's probably going to be like a really aggressive cover two, send six type of look, uh, just trying to get a turnover and, you know, sit on the hard flats, quick outs and things like that. Um, as far as routes, effective routes next year, though, real quick, uh, curl routes, post routes, crossing routes, slant routes are going to be the, the way to go. Crossing routes are going to be good next year. They're good this year. They're going to be really good next year just because the rollout is going to be better. Um, you know, so it's kind of the same as far as routes. I think it's going to be similar uh, to this year as far as what routes you're wanting to look for. Corner routes are going to be better next year than they were this year i feel like corner routes were okay at different points of the season but next year you're going to see they're going to be pretty daggone good especially rolling out of the pocket so you know from gun bunch you're going to have to contain the rollout um you know that's the thing but i don't know that bunch is going to be the move i actually think trips tight end is going to be good because the other thing is it's it's a slower pace game and slower pace games favor spread formations Slower pace games favor spread formation. So like trips tight end or doubles or, uh, you know, spread. The, those formations get favored in these type of games. Uh, this is, rem uh, it reminds me, I think it was, I want to say it was Madden um, 18, but that was a year where spread was a pretty good offense. You know, you could do wide trips or U trips. So U trips is another one. Um, U trips a little slower paced in my opinion compared to Bunch. Bunch is a really fast-paced offense, 
Um, so it'll be interesting to see. People are still going to run bunch. People are still going to run U trips. People are still going to run all of those things. Um, but my knee jerk thing right now is get ready for rollout or scrambling quarterbacks, and then get ready to run match and man coverage. Those are like big things on defense. On offense, you need to get your dots ready. Um, you're gonna it's gonna be a pass based game. I pretty much can see that right now. It's gonna be a a very pass based game. And then secondly, you really want to get your pocket presence down. Um, that's something little that you can start working on. Pocket presence and route combos that beat everything every year. Curl flat concepts, um, mesh post concepts, things like that. Hitch posts, um, curl flat, things like that. Uh, crossing route with a with a, di a dig. They did fix delay fades, so if you man it up, the delay fade gets taken away. Um, so that's where I think you're going to see more delay drags. But anyways, that's my knee-jerk thoughts on Madden 22 beta right now as far as how we can start preparing uh, for the next season's game. I really hope that they the zones play a little bit better, but I hope they don't go too far where zones just jump every route under God's green earth. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. And if you want to get my... Uh, my big nickel over G defense. That's what I'm going to be rocking with on defense in next year's game. And if you want to get my Arizona Cardinals offensive guide, at least to start the year, I'm going to probably be in the spread. Uh, I just love the spread, and I think it's going to work really well next year. So if you want to get kind of a head start on Madden 22, those two playbooks, I'm going to run them pretty much the exact same uh, with maybe a couple little nuances, but really um, it's going to be exact same. So if you have not already gotten those guides, you can get them in the description. If you want to get the true fan membership and just be able to stay up to date on everything every week, then that's just five bucks a month and you can get that in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you later.